Hey, it's CJ Fitch here with Drums for Success on Creative Expression. Today we are talking about the man, the myth, the legend, Dennis Chambers. Now, if you were like me growing up watching Dennis Chambers, I used to watch this DVD every day when I came home. Um, had it on VHS and I used to pop it in and put it on rewind um, all the time um, because I was just so baffled by uh, watching Dennis Chambers play. Quick anecdote, I got to meet Dennis Chambers uh, in my college years and he was in town from Nam, and I was so excited to meet him and uh, he shook my hand, took a picture with me and said, uh, I said, hey Mr. Chambers, my name is TJ Fisher, you know, it's great to meet you. And he looked at me and, he kind of looked and he kind of looked back and he was like, are you one of these little guys I got to look out for? And I, I laughed and smiled and we both laughed at it. And it was one of the most um, dopest moments for me because it was inspiring to think that Dennis Chambers could think that some random person that he had, um, he had met would uh, could potentially change the future of drumming or that, you know, he needs to look out for So. Big shout out to Dennis Chambers. Um, never got to tell him that, but uh, if you're watching this, man, uh, you're a huge inspiration. So let's get to it. All right, so jumping into the groove, we got this two-bar phrase. So this phrase is going to happen in two bars. Um, the first part of the bar, if you look at the notation on the screen, um, don't worry about that first crash because this, that's the beginning of the phrase. He does the pickup. Right, <laughs> right. That's the pickup that goes down to the downbeat, and then there's going to be the first beat, which is going to be a crash. So we're not going to focus on that because we're focused on the groove. So let's take the first, um, first beat. Now, he plays it a couple different ways, and that's the beauty of improvisation. He's not going to play it exactly the same way. So the first time he plays it as a linear phrase, and then further in he plays it, you know, uh right hands together so let's do that first beat we got right left right left right kick right and then the kick is going to actually go with it right right again 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 again, again. Right. So once we got that down, we're going to jump to the back. The second beat, second beat is going to be the same in the second measure. So we don't have to practice it twice, which is really cool. So we got left, right, left, right. And then the second right hand, we got a bass drum. So left, right, left, right. Uh, again. Sorry. Ready? And again. Again, again, right? We put both of those together. We got again, go, again, and again, and. See, my tendency is to put that bass drum with that right hand because you have the ability to do that, especially improvisational wise. And then once you start to voca you, you develop your own vocabulary, you know, you might do it a certain way. So I might, you might hear me throw that extra bass drum in there, right? And then also, he also does it with the right hand double, right? 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 Same thing, but now the double. Same phrase, and you're filling in with that left hand, right? It's a paradiddle, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, and then just two singles, right, left, right, right, and then uh, actually, yeah, it's like a, it's like almost like a moving around uh, double paradiddle, right, right, left, right, right, and then just. Uh, just singles after that right so now that we got both of those beats 
Um, down, left hand, cowbell, double that bass drum, and then you got a snare at the end of it. Uh, again, 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 again. right? And then the last beat is just all right singles. Right, left, right, left. All right? That's all it is. Put the whole measure together. Let's see. We get this. Now, we got the exact same thing happening on the second measure. We have the exact same thing happening on the second measure. The only difference is that there's a 30-second um, note. Uh, phrase in the beginning which is a five stroke roll right and it's done between the cowbell and the uh, hi-hat right and then uh, at the end of and the beginning of that five stroke roll we have a bass drum right right so make sure you work that coordination out and then you got an extra bass drum after that Right. Once we get that all done, then we just go back into the regular beat. Right. That's that same thing we practice first. Uh, first measure. And then uh, at the end of this, instead of going uh, your right left being between the uh, right, the cowbell and the snare, it's just both on the snare. Right? All right, this one says it's on the time. You could do it anywhere. You could do it here, you could do it here, you could do it here. It's just two notes um, that could be played. Right? So, whole thing, uh, second measure. Right? And once we have both measures of the groove, we put it all together and it sounds like this. Right? So now that we got uh, the whole groove, remember there's parts of the groove that can be improvised, right? Uh, you definitely want to try um, to make some of this your own. So, like I said, that first phrase um, where you got the two bass drums, you might, might put both ba bass drums there. Uh -huh. Right? I might play all the bass drum on all of those. Right, I might try different things um, musically that might make the uh, that essentially might add to the groove, right? Or uh, might add to the music. So I'm not gonna play the the exact same way verbatim every time. Um, this is just a template to fit along with the groove. So let's play the groove along with the music really quick, so you can kind of get it in the context of the groove. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Creative Expression uh, behind the chops of Dennis Chambers. Uh, definitely, if you don't know who Dennis Chambers is, check him out. Um, he's such an amazing, um, such an amazing musician. Um, really dope. Um, check out some of his albums and don't just listen to Dennis Chambers 
um, what you know of him. Um, listen to him playing with other people like Victor Wooten um, or, uh, you know, uh, countless other people, uh, John McLaughlin and all the people that he played with and listen to his body of work and that could give you some insight into potentially who he is as a drummer and this could help you um, as a drummer. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, hit that bell notification so you can know when the next episode drops. I'm TJ Fisher here with Drums for Success, helping you to make a difference one beat at a time. Peace. Follow Drums for Success.